It will soften that line dr pretty dramatically. As you can see, I did it on that pedal. I think I'll do it because I, I am liking how that looks. Depending on sort of how much space you have, this may or may not be apparent on your line art. This line art I really like. I'm kind of liking this idea of like leaving this one big flower. Maybe do two other ones to do sort of the rule of threes thing that always seems to work well in cards. But I'm just sort of looking at any of these petals that look a little too contrasty to my eye. So let's go in and do the rest of this. This looks like it's the uh, part of the same rose. Like this looks like it's all part of one petal. And because these petals are so tightly packed, I'm not going to like try and hit everyone because then it would just look very dark. So I'm just sort of tapping on the edge of those petals. These top ones, I might want to come in and re-blend a little bit just because they're very front and center. But I think everything down here where I'm currently coloring is going to not need too much. But I am going to do... Oh, these are on the same marker, so they're a little hard. So I'm just going to come over and do another layer. There we go. So I think that's going to be our focal piece. And we could do something very, I do like this, like front and center. And then, so FYI, if you get our digital products, or she'll probably be in Lala's stream. Um, I did print it, print out the, well, let's, let's try and be some, I will, let me stick this down, but then I'll try to be semi-competent and, um, Cause I did print I did print out again the where this came from. I don't think it said specifically about the image, but let's find out.